course, for outsiders. So there'll be that balance in the fact that both carries might be a little, uh, little checked out of the early fights. Yeah, and there's going to be versus the Ember and GPK kind of demolished that matchup yesterday. He versus the Death Prophet, Death Prophet can trade a lot easier versus Quap. Oh, the ward's coming out. I, I like this from Bet Boom. I think this is something you probably want to do versus outsiders in most games. Boots run out, get a deep ward in so you know if they're dodging lanes or if they're going to like aggressive try lane or something like that after we saw them do it yesterday. Getting these right lanes is still really important. Any, any bizarre item, battle. starting items? Nothing looks out of the ordinary. Everything looks pretty much dead standard. Yeah. Lots of branches. Deep aggressive ward also placed from outsiders, so... Maybe they are looking to switch the lanes up a little bit or to get some pepper read. Because yeah, I'm seeing Enigma go top now. Already okay. some adjustments being made. I mean, we know in a second for GPK. He is playing very confident. He's going for the rune. Yeah, I mean, he's going to be able to do so. So both play. water runes again this time. They're going to go the other way around. Outsiders have managed to secure it with GPK's players. And oh. Roger not quite able to bully him in that situation. Nice blocks. Why? Wow, actually, able to turn around and maybe the charge. Trampling across the two of them. Yamik's getting very, very low. Oh. Will lose his life. But the hack dies for that attempt there. Well worth it for Yamich. Actually able to stand his ground so tanky. He's getting beautifully body blocked by Seneko too, but yeah, DM's able to come and clean up. Outsiders, a strong early game. Even though it's three kills for Bet Boom, I think Outsiders is way happier. This PA is completely free from yeah. Corrosion Ring of Health already on. Yeah, he's having a great time there, Rams. He's in the mid lane as well with those, that war through situation. Lal had to step back to base. Seeing yep. GPK get the, get the lead now in CS. Still like, like identical net worth, only 30 different between the two of them, actually 70 or so. So still, still okay for Laurel, but yeah, those other those two side lanes, definitely a problem after the hot goes down as well. Radiant and not underestimate the damage from the four primal beasts. Very tough rips they did earlier. We saw the, the Undying getting caught out. Yeah, but even versus PA, it's difficult though, you know, the blur. Really valuable actually for the final ones. So you're not in too much threat. Top again. Go for Seneko, and they'll have him. Off damage here with the burst of the shock and the trample of the beast. Beast is actually a very, even though it's, you know, Troll, one of the better heroes versus all these melees, he's pretty good versus Troll. Your uproar is super valuable. We'll even get another rune now, GPK. Gets the big one. Brought three heroes round to this mid lane now on uh, Bet Boom. Sorry, on, on, on Outsiders. Seems like you can maybe get a chance to, to set up on LoL, but it's not to be the case. Scott, as we were saying, as I was saying before, he's got a pretty good game for Primal Beast to just charge in and initiate fights. Uh oh, here we go, DM. Turn it up, charge it in, grabs the Death Prophet. They flow LoL up there with the Sonic Wave. Two stones down. Jump forward, maybe seeing if they can case down for more under the tier one tower. They're looking to die. Radiant structures are falling. Now strong now. Big damage there with a soul rip and indeed noticed. Caught by the shackle. Doing stuff by the silence of Roger, but the dagger's in, slowing down Notice. He's gonna struggle to get away from this one. As he'll kick down. Maybe they get the deny. Nope, not gonna even try for it that. Not a kill for outsiders, and now the tier one in the mid getting pressure. Adapult here. Roger's in. Looking for the catch on Yamich. Yamich should die for this. Nice. At least they get something back. Now they gotta get the push of their own going. They do have the Eidolon still here for a moment. Might actually be able to get this tower as well too. They still have their siege alive. Exorcism in eight. Yeah, this tower looks like it's gonna go down. Not bad for Bepoon. You know, you can see them just getting... He can do it. He's got a Chen right. He's gonna have the bumps, the heals. The... He's going to be backed up. Well, see, GPK, oh, my goodness, jumps in there and then he gets caught by the roll. It turns over towards Lars. Lars has the Aegis. So he's going to die in the will be dropped in an attempt to kill him off once. He's still alive there, surprisingly, in the middle of the ward. Finally dies. The Anakin return will lose his life. And Bedroom will ready. They're cleaning up the surface. He's going to try and charge Looks to get the grab onto Lars. Lars gets smashed down. Take out the Death Prophet, they'll find Snakeo in the trees as well. Outsiders finally able to push back against Bet Boom's aggression. Ooh. And some overconfidence. Laurel actually Radiant's popped the Exorcism has been when he huge. came back up and just gets completely burst down from DM. A big reveal of the BKB. Ooh, look at this. Talk a bit. Radiant's top cut. Little pressure on DM. 
here. They can do it. They'll come in for the defense, but there's the black hole. No, he's just going to drop it down on GPK. GPK has got buyback, but they're losing the barracks here. Easy damage. The setup on the drop because he has Aegis. He'll be ready to come back for round two. They'll take him out once. Do it the second time round. He's trying to go for the back lines. He's committed and over towards Notist. It's Enigma. Notist will finally fall. He now jumps to the next target. Looks to Snake over that. Closing He's the here. gap. He's getting in on top of the PA. Ramsey's he's got to try and get away from him. Caught by the side of football. Here. Ramsey's taken down. Dahat now turns to GPK. GPK caught in the route. They have the stun. They have the lockdown. The whole back to Hatch. Gives GPK the charge to jump back to safety. Outsiders, they will get the kill. But of course, not before the damage to the base was done. Then be closer than you really want to be. So they live to see another day. Either way, right? He has got BKB now, even though he had to die and buy back in the last sure. fight. Sure. 80 seconds till Black Hole's available. Trying to find some solution for them. Their whole base is warded. Still a pretty massively uphill battle, obviously. Pretty impossible one, that is. It's also a basher now for Dahak. More elements of, like, uh, messing up with PA2 E Blade on Laurel. Ramsey's just dies out of the game for a minute. And that, you know, three dead. You have buybacks on a couple of them, but Roger. Fantastic counter. Gets the other one to GK. GK wants to be able to put the BKB. Looks up to the high ground, but he stands up dying. The damage being kicked out by Lars. GG is called. Wow. He's probably just safe bottom. The Hawk even looking for hook plays bottom. Got him. And he's got CP Bando coming in. And they're ready to make sure they can secure this kill onto DM. He's going to try and hide in the trees, but Roger's on top of him. Dad sets up for the kill. They'll also be able to farm the tombstone. Easy, Ooh, Roger. Okay, Roger well, Roger, die. not so much. But uh, then they'll take it. He's under attack. I'll Huge. certainly take that. Yeah, instant rotation from the two supports. So Dahak's probably just telling him, guys, I got to get this hook. Finds the angle. And it is Roar committed as well, too. So no Roar when he does respawn either. Bloom's early game again, looking really solid. TV still getting, getting, of course, that free farm, but the three cores on their side looking really good, and they're starting to pressure towers. Absolutely. Nine minutes, tier one tower taken at the top. Exactly what Notice wants to be aiming for. They're going to have to do the early race back again. I mean, here we go. We're going to see what the, the, the impact of the mid Rubik's early rotations can be. Smoke up from outsiders. Let's see. Oh, they want Lal. They don't really want Roger. Uh-oh. But... They're not going to be able to get either. They tried to push on. They want GPK. I mean, GPK's got to run. There's a punch here, too. I, I don't know if there's any way out of this for GPK. Oh, they got to start high-fiving him or something. Turn out the trees. And They're stalking him. Uh, there's no running for GPK. Yeah, there's the, the high-five. The Malifus is there. GPK is going down. <laughs> what? Hang up for, for action top. Roger, always there. Gets the angle, gets the opening, kick back into the hook. That'll be DM gone. Should be able to get the dragon as well, too. A lot of gold. Radiant's top tower is under attack. An extra thousand gold as well. Roshan. A minute and a half until that's up. Definitely a high likelihood the bet boom could just walk in. Boom has a pretty sneaky one. He saw GPK for a second. What not quite get him. He'll sell up Coder instead. Radiant's top tower is under attack. GPK showed himself. Roger's yes. probably going right for him. He, he, it was as if GPK felt that he could maybe help out here, but he yeah. certainly has to keep running. It's getting bigger and bigger. GPK's done. Natal. Cheese, though. Oh! No, they'll get it. The Hackman did. He did. Meanwhile, back on the bottom lane. He's Radiant coming in from outsiders. Will allow him to kill Seneco. But uh, outsiders will have to back off on this. And Roger, Roger. the chase. Oh, he's looking for this. He has an axe. He can get the kick. Radiant's bottom tower. He can do it. BKB from Ramsey's. Link as well. Still going. Uh, he really is. Roger's not going to slow down on this chase. He, he knows there's no tier one tower. It's kind of difficult for the rest of outsiders attack. to get to Ramsey's. Can't quite. And now they're playing it really nicely. Yeah, to be honest. Damage now shows himself. And then straight on top of it. Straight away in with the dismember. That's the damage gone. Another one. I think it's the one. Oh my. 
top with a monster. And the GPK's in trouble as well. Roger noticed they're on top of them. It's going to be three dead on outsiders. <laughs> oh my, G I thought GPK didn't have buyback for a second. He's actually has enough. Very I close. Know, I don't know if he'll want to use it. I mean, Roshan's up in 30 seconds. The G Piper. Now, Ramsey's, they actually see him. The sword. Roger is ready to start things off. The Hornets just don't know if he's going to come in the game. Black hole. Oh, it's perfect there from Nozis. Now, Hansen with the cleanup damage with the rock. That's exactly what they were looking for. And all up down to the start up there from Roger. Getting in, turning Ramsey's to stone. And the rest of outsiders, they just surround him. And it is just set up perfectly for Notice. Almost five, man. He got four, and then the Undying almost walked into it. But either way, I mean, you couldn't ask for more. Again and again, Roger, somehow, just always in the right place at the right time. This ward I mean, coming in clutch. You got a first phase ban this man, for us. Seriously. The first two games of this series. They're forcing buybacks. Laurel, he's deep. He's really deep. Oh, he's really deep. But he has Aegis, he's got BKB, he's got Satan. So he's got multiple ways to buy time for the rest of the team to come over and help out. See a buyback from Roger. Roger, he knows that he's needed. Okay. He's in with the bite, jump forward for no dip. He's in with the BKB. A little short on the mana. Perhaps still surviving and last. He's able to stand his ground to the damage. Lotus has thrown out to Lyle. We'll reflect the draw. Ramsey, bring in Lyle down low though. Lyle will fall. Ramsey's not bringing up anything more right. Roger's in. Trying to get on top of the terror blade. Rolls forward. At the side. The fear is well from the side. He's pushing Ramsey's path for now, but it doesn't matter. Ramsey's still able to turn. Double kill. He's taken out the four of them. Four dead on Bedford. The outsiders will hold. Did cost them quite a bit. Three buybacks having to come into play there. Actually, no, four, Dyer's including Hakoda. So a, a, a quad fun. buyback from outsiders, but it will push back Bedford. It is a huge one. Noticed? Will be okay. Get some split push going before he goes back to base. A huge fight, though. Ramsey's, he's able to just... I think just hit Laurel the entirety of the fight. He yeah. does 10,000 damage, and if you look at Laurel, he only does 3k because I think it was like a sequence of him just getting disabled and disarmed constantly when he's trying to fight Radiant for Ramsey. See what they can do with this push outside is they want to at least get some buybacks out in return from Bet Boom after having Radiant's to use buybacks themselves. Is under attack. Radiant structure. Bet Boom hanging on to theirs. 30 seconds still before Black Hole's available. Let's see what buybacks come out. 20. They might just let Sam Rex go. They know, yeah, outside of now they have to push for tier fours if they want to get some of these buybacks out. The hack will respond. They push fast, though. Ramsey's has Frenzy on him as well. They really don't want to buy back on these other two. They, they, they may have to. They might have to. Tier fours, yeah, they've, got to, they've got to spend. They've got to buy back. ตัวไปแล้วกันแล้วที่ตัวก็คือมีสวิงไฟที่น่าอึดซีเซนที่ตัวไปแล้วกันแล้วที่ตัวไปแล้วกันแล้วที่ตัวไปแล้วกันแล
Yeah, big, big blunder, really. That boom. They're gonna have a haste rune also on Laurel, so about to have shard finished. Pretty, pretty little big luxury for Bet Boom now. Even to Hawk, if he does get lassoed in a lot of situations, now can just turn around. He'll die and then come Time back. Time is money. <laughs> yep. Look at that bolt. There you go. It's looking pretty dead hit. Got backup coming, but Laurel's also in the area. Everyone's right. Got to turn out of mana. And now Hakoda's in trouble as well. Don't see Beppu. They're going to try and chase him out here. And indeed, they'll find him. He even offers up a tombstone for them to farm. Oh, things are falling apart. Damage drops the Serpent Ward's hexes and then doesn't have mana for shackles on that tasted Zeus. It's, it's just a bit all over the place here from outside. Truly crumbling. And look, they're already setting up for bottom. They were pinging the PA. Ramsey shows himself. the raw. I mean, they're boxing over, but they, 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 they can't get there in time. Right? Bat Boom out playing all over the place outside and crumbling. GPK. He's been found I've even. Him. There's a Chrono. He's got mana with one. He's, He's got, got one. Oh. Okay. I mean, mate. Okay, they, they, they didn't want to go for that. Maybe expecting backup or something? Okay, GPK is going to use the last side. He doesn't need it. Hard landing. Oh, well, they'll take that. Could be. It's true now. Void starts Chrono. He's going to jump. He's going to get caught by the Hex. I mean, as it looks, they don't even need the Chrono. Ramsey's just dead. Same to be said for Hakoda. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. It just seems like they've lost it completely. Yeah, yeah. Full, fully lost control of Bat Boom, just doing whatever they want, really. He's reading the map perfectly. Seneko's showing bottom. Laurel is at the back for him. GPK, I feel like he's just got to stay hidden. He oh, sure does. Feel. He, it looks like he was maybe wanting to go for Seneko there for the knee blade. Like Zeus has got a one shot into the fight. Here we go. They're, they're gonna get turned on again, though. I mean, to my Roger, is he, he finally dies, but it takes a lot. Okay, yeah, he's here. Okay, they've got the wards dropped down. So if you can get anything more out of this outsiders, La will be free from the Serpent Ward, so... GPK! Oh, he, he tried to finish it off. I mean, La does go down, but GPK gives his life for that. Ramses, I have the Chrono. The Hacks caught him! He showed him. He actually, like, didn't hide in the tree lines. He showed a little bit there on the edge. Serpent boards as well, if they want to. Some more money for Bet Boo. Dyer's bottom they, tower is I mean, attack. at least they get the Zeus, but a total disaster again. Oh, I, I, mean, I love the TikTok. I think if they want to try and stop Dyer's this. Middle tower is under attack. But it's going to... They've already had to pop BKBs. But the points out as well. Controlling GPK rid of BKB. And we have to look at the GPK's still going to try and jump in, but if BKB's going to come to an end pretty soon, and that she's still ever trying. Oh, she's going to get the crown out onto all of them. It's another rough, rough fight there. And they call it. They call it. GC's called Bespo. They're going to TI. And off the back of wow. an incredible series. 3-0. They turn up today. They...